we have now the ability to see the products page and the cart and to switch back and forth between them. But we uh, are going to add, first of all, a few products. This is really easy. We'll just copy and paste. So all we have to do is change the ID and the price, which is embedded. And then we have to uh, position the element. We'll go ahead and do another one. When we save it, you can see now there's three items. Now when you look and you see we uh, click on the cart here, it wasn't obvious before, but the position didn't change. We cloned the node, which kept everything uh, that had before. We changed the size, but we didn't change the position so that when we click on these, they all end up in the exact same position they were before on this page. So and it doesn't matter if I refresh and hit this one first, it's still in that same position. So what we're going to do is we're going to now position them in the cart based on the order that they were selected. So after we add the items to the cart, we're going to show the cart items a separate function to try to keep things uh, separated there. So here I am writing the function, uh, show cart items. First thing I want to do is I want to get the div that is going to manage all of the cart images. So I get it inside the document, cart images, and I create this object with it using that variable. And then I get the node list from that object that give me every node of type div uh, in that node list. And then I'm going to do a for loop. I don't know if I have zero. I don't know if I have a thousand. I'm going to run through every single one of them. And I'm going to put the position as absolute. And then based on the order that it is in the node list, so the, this would be zero for the first one, I will position first the top and then the left. Now you can see when I save this, refresh, when I add to cart, the position has definitely changed. But not only that, if I choose this one, it's in second. And then this one is third. And if I refresh, again, starting all over, this one could be the first one. This could be the second one. And then this one could be the last. Again, it doesn't matter what order uh, they are on the page. It's the order that I click them. Of course, now we want to add some other objects, like how to delete this image, show me the price, the quantity, and things like that. And that'll be the, that'll be the next step. Now that we have the products page and the ability to add them to the cart, we want to also be able to delete them from the cart. So if I change my mind here, I'm going to want to delete those. So when I go back to my add to cart, I'm going to have another function called add remove object where I'm going to have an object there that will uh, most likely a picture with a function and everything like that. So let's create that function here, add remove object. Now you notice that I passed in there the item to add, but here it's called the item to remove. Uh, no big deal, it's just how uh, the naming works, and I like the name within this context. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get from the cart the uh, div that is going to hold, host or hold all of the remove items. Okay, then I'm going to create another div on the fly here. Obviously, I don't know how many uh, items I'm going to have in the cart, so I've got to create them on the fly. And I'm going to create an image object, again, through JavaScript on the fly. It's the same as typing in the HTML. And then I'm going to give the remove div the idea of uh, remove item appended with the product ID. So remove item 001, remove item 002, et cetera, et cetera. And then I'm going to tell the image object what image is associated with it. It's in my images directory, and it's called remove.png. And you'll see what that is in just a second. Next, I'm going to set the height of that image. And then finally, I'm going to say, on click, I want you to call the remove cart item with the item to remove. Okay. Now, item to remove, again, is the ID that was passed in, uh, unappended or under unprepended, however you want to say that. Okay, so after I do that, I'm going to append the remove image to the remove div, and then I'm going to append the remove div to the cart item uh, remove. And what that does then is it actually makes them visible on the cart. Let's now let's see if this will work here. Refresh, and there you go. You see the image there. It's not positioned. Uh, or anything like that, but it is actually there. And that's just a picture. And if I were to click on this, it would call that function. But of course, I haven't created the function yet. So let's create that function, remove cart item. 
Okay, so the item that I'm going to remove, now I've changed it to item, which again, if it's the first product, it's just going to be 001. Okay, and now I'm going to say the cart item, which again is what I named in the very beginning when I added the cart, was cart item plus this number. And the remove ID is remove item plus this number. So now I can get both of those. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the object by getting that uh, object from the document with that item ID. And then I'm going to tell its parent to remove me, the child. Then I'll get the uh, remove item uh, and do the same thing, telling the parent to remove me, the child. So let's see what happens now. Here I haven't refreshed. I click on this and nothing happens. I refresh. I'm going to add this one instead. And when I click on it, they, they remove. They, they just disappear. Okay? But you notice that they were not in position, so I've got to position them now. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to my show cart items, and I'm going to do the cart item remove. Uh, I'm going to get all my cart items to remove, and I'm going to get a node list, okay? And then I'm going to add, uh, while I cycle through the node list, I'm going to position it so that it's the exact same as the actual image itself there. So now when we save this, hit refresh, click on this, you notice that that's nicely positioned. Now if I click on this, it will remove it. If I continue shopping, I can add it back. I can add another one. I can add all three. I can delete the middle one. And if I continue shopping and add it back, you see that it ends up at the end instead of in the middle where it was. So anyways, we've been able to add a uh, remove node and to actually position it and have it remove the items from the cart by just um, changing the document objects. The last thing I'm going to point out is if you look at where this um, item remove is placed, um, you notice that I didn't change this value here. And the reason is, is because there's a whole uh, div that uh, keeps this aligned. So essentially it's lined up to the zero. And if I wanted to move that um, right here, you can see I have it at 200. And if I just change it to 300, and then refresh, you can see that it's moved out to here. So the distance here is controlled by the main image here and not by this uh, show cart items. Let me quickly scroll up here to show cart items and you can see here that I'm setting the top but not uh, the left I'm actually setting to zero and it's just lining up to wherever that whole div is. That's the uh, last thing for this section.